This is ITP115, Programming in Python, and I'm going to show you how to validate input. So we've been doing input for a while. Uh, when you ask the user for something, so here it is with the input command, enter your name, you always get a string back. Well, your name is a string, so that's fine for that. Um, the next line here, when we say enter your age and get input from the user, the user hopefully types a number and then we convert that with an int command here and turn that into the number age. Unfortunately, this can have a problem. If you ask the user for input to put in their age and they don't put in something that's a number, it crashes. So here you see they typed in T-W-E-N-T-Y and the computer doesn't know what that is. So when it tries to convert that into an integer, it blows up. What we would like to do is have some kind of processing that we can do after we get the user's input to see what they did. And if it really is a number, okay. But if it's not, then we have to fix it or deal with it some other way. But we deal with it before the program crashes. And in order to do that processing, there are some tools that we can use. So when we do an input, input command, you get a string. And so we have string commands now, string functions that we can say string dot something and find out something about that string. So string dot is al num, short for alphanumeric, returns true if the string is letters and numbers and nothing else. The string function is alpha is true if it's just alpha characters, letters. Um, and here's the one we want for our age problem. String dot is digit returns true if the string is only digits, only numerals. So that's how we are going to check if the string the user types in is numerals and it's safe to convert into an integer. So here is the example. We do input enter your age and the user types in a string and that goes into age string. Then we're gonna check to see, is it all digits? If it's not all digits, okay? So if the age string dot is digit is false, then we make the user do it again. And we give them a little help here. We say, make sure you put in a number for your age. And we get another string. And because this is a while loop, it comes and tests again. And it's possible that the user got it wrong again. So that can go on for a little while. But eventually, we hope the user types in numerals. And the is digit is true, which means that it doesn't match the false here. And the loop stops. And we can finally come down here and take that string, which is just numerals, that we just made sure was just numerals, run the int command on it, and voila, we actually have a number for age. No crashing. 